Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing full review of this Move Shot Move 80 mm refracting telescope for adults. Uh, this is a telescope ideal for camera and phone astrophotography. They say it's a beginner's telescope, but the really interesting thing is here that it's not a low end telescope, it's something which is a little bit more sophisticated and is supposed to provide more quality and more fun. So let's see what we get and what we can do. And I'm definitely going to show how to assemble it and show you some live footage after that even from the moon. So it comes in two pieces. Here we have the tripod and here we have the telescope. Telescope is a T150 and it looks pretty solid I would say. It is fully assembled. This is what we want to see and it comes with everything. It comes with this nice clip lock. It comes with soft rubber feet and it comes even with some protection here. We get this crank here. We get this solid thing. Yeah, I would say this is a full size good quality tripod but really amazing that we can see that included so maybe I can show you that pretty quickly you can see you can rotate it left right up down we have this click we have this standard quarter inch mounting plate really really solid and this bubble level uh, tilting function yeah, it comes with everything you can see with the crank we can lift it up and down and we have even this grip here so I would say top to bottom very solid thing something which you can also use for photography or for your video camera not only for your telescope but of course we have been waiting mainly for the telescope and so here we are comes with this comprehensive instructions manual the model type seems to be 80400, eight pages uh, for assembly, how to set up the tripod, the telescope, some operating instructions, use red dot finder and some telescope basics and care and cleaning and support and everything comes even with three pages of funny stickers and yeah, the telescope is quite a size it's definitely not a toy this is much larger than everything what i've seen so far from other brands it's different eyepieces three times barlow lens remote control so regarding magnification you have a couple of different options like with the 10 millimeter eyepiece you get 40 times magnification with the 10 millimeter plus the Barlow we get 120x magnification with the 20 millimeter you get 20x magnification with the 20x plus the Barlow get 60 times magnification and what's also very very important is a solid phone holder i've seen so many phone holders which didn't work which put my phone at risk to drop and i can tell you it has dropped many times with some other brand phone holders so this looks much more sophisticated and then we have already our first highlight and that's the red dot viewfinder it's an electronic viewfinder it works with battery common battery CR 2032 that's the most common button cell battery and the easiest to replace you don't have to be worried about if you run out of battery then we have two different levels we can turn it on and then we have to look into this viewfinder you can see the red dot and the huge thing is you can still see everything behind you can see the red dot but you can see everything so if you want to focus on the moon or the stars or whatever you can see both you will see the red dot and you will see everything in the background so that's the best thing which you can have at least in this class and this can save you a lot of time to search for objects so let's start with the assembly so we remove this quick release plate here and then we connect it with the tripod mount here on the telescope so let's say it has a solid hold we open this again here and slide it inside and lock it and you can see it has good hold already then we have to remove the protective cap you have to untighten these two screws here then we remove this cap make sure that you cannot feel the screws inside anymore and then we take the diagonal part we remove both protective 
caps here and so we insert it here inside and we secure it with both of the screws from the side also on this side here and then we take the eyepiece of our choice in this case we take the 20 millimeters and we have to untighten this screw here as well put it inside and then secure it and we are almost ready of course what's missing here is the viewfinder we just push this thing down and slide it inside has a good lock already and of course the viewfinder has to be adjusted to what we see here inside so you focus on something look here inside where the red dot is and then you adjust the red dot with these two screws to match whatever we see here inside and of course we have also a focus adjustment we can release this screw here and then we can move the focus inside and outside to find the perfect view and then secure it again so i can definitely tell you this is very solid build compared to real entry level telescopes and of course if you want to use your phone you can adjust this thing here put it around the eyepiece and then secure it again and then put your phone here inside and adjust everything with the screws so the camera is then in front of this lens here so i can already tell now this is total game change you can see i can shake this thing and the phone is absolutely solid it's not moving you don't have to fear that it's falling down so if you look for something with a phone mount this is the way to go here and if you're planning to take pictures or videos with your phone, I highly recommend to use this remote control. So we just push it into the front position. We get this blue blinking light and then we can connect it to the Bluetooth of our phone. So we go down and search for available devices. We have the AP shutter number three. I guess that's the one. We click on that pairing and so it's ready to go we go to the camera and press the button and you can see it goes into countdown to one zero and takes the image so this is definitely the way to go very easy to use no app to install works right out of the box so i've been outside now for about half an hour and i've been able to make a couple of decent shots i would say so i have it here even a little bit better now i hope you can see that there yeah, for a moment it was uh, really good here i think now you can see that but unfortunately the camera which i'm using uh, is always uh, turning into too bright now i think you can see what i can see here on this camera on my phone and that's absolutely amazing it's so beautiful to watch it has such a high resolution uh, watch all these things along this edge it's absolutely amazing i loved you could see everything so i'm going to record a little bit so you can see that in real life it's absolutely amazing something which i've never seen before in this detail and so i've transferred all the images to my pc and so let's take a little bit closer look here so my first image here if you see something like that don't be worried just click on your screen of your phone and let the autofocus of your phone work and then in a sudden it will be much sharper something like that and so you can see here a lot of very beautiful images i mean this is a quite old phone so if you have a new premium phone i can guarantee you will be able to get much better images than this one here and that's already quite amazing i love these images i've never been able to make such nice images with a telescope in this class so absolutely amazing when you're using your phone it's very depending on the quality of your phone so autofocus is highly recommended also optical image stabilization the better phone the better quality also with this telescope and of course you can also use the zooming on your phone the best thing to focus is to put it somewhere in an intermediate position and then use also the focus on your phone so they can work together just tap on where you have the moon or the stars or whatever you want to see tap 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 move a little bit around and finally you will have the perfect image of course you have to also make sure that it's properly aligned here otherwise it won't make a good picture so of course it's much easier to look just 
inside with your eyes and then enjoy what you see it's much much easier but of course sometimes you want to make a picture and then it's important to have a really good solid phone mount and this is what we have here absolutely amazing best phone mount for telescope which i've ever seen in this class and definitely use the remote control because otherwise it will be too shaky like with every other tripod and telescope where you have large magnification and regarding positioning this red dot finder was a huge success much much better than the normal viewfinders this is a big time help and what i recommend is to point the whole thing a little bit lower like this and then secure it and then pull it down a little bit that's the easiest way to find something properly of course always keep this thing in your view so overall i can definitely confirm that this is the best beginner's telescope which i've ever seen and so i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope you've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time